crease we're going to put there's a point there yes you can see there's a perfect box right inside here so you can see that and here you can see there's a triangle right here so we're going to fold this over so that's our first one and that is the, the side of the curtain going all the way up the top we're going to press that so that it stays it remains all right now we're left with this triangle here all right now we're going to fold there's a crease there we're going to fold that one in there like that so we've got this box here can you see it all right and now the bottom of the curtain there which is our finish hem we're going to fold the crease in so we're going to fold that in and as you can see that that is a mitered corner so now i'm going to iron it so that it stays and here we have a mitered corner which is the other side of the curtain looking at it from another perspective before I deal with the side of the curtain, first I'm going to hem it. With your curtain weights inside the curtains at the centre here, if you so wish, I'm now going to hem the curtain on my Lifesaver machine. Just checking that it hasn't come through, I can put less stitching in so it doesn't print through. And as you can see, I'm using the colour, it's a nylon cotton, which is does everything. I could put change it to red, but there's no need. Can you see? And this, if you were doing it by hand, it will take you over an hour to do your nice hand stitching but as you can see there is no need in seconds this will be done all you do when, when you get to the end you hold the machine in a certain position and then you pop it and that's it nicely hemmed Right, now we're going to mitre our corner and we're going to stitch this up before we do anything else. Now, to give the corner a bit of a weight so that when the curtain it just flips back, we're going to put curtain weights inside it. Inside this pocket, we've got this, which is curtain weight. Now, you can spend time sewing it on like a button if you wish, but what I do is I put the fabric inside with the weight inside of it, inside of it, and then I tack it, this, fab, this to the fabric and then I continue to sew. Just tack it in. Right, now that that's in and it's not going anywhere we proceed to sew this together now this now is called a ladder stitch what we're going to go all the way down so we're going to go into the side of the fabric into the side into the side come out Go to the opposite side, sew inside along the edge, come out, go back to the opposite side, 
go inside it, come back out, and basically we're going across each time. What I'll do is I'll do it a bit loose so you can see it. Let me open it back up. Can you see the stitchings going across? And then if you pull it, it just pulls it like a, and it closes it all up. I'll do it again in a minute. So we go from side to side, and you can do it as small as you can. I'm leaving it open at the moment so you can see it. So this is called a ladder stitch. So I've done it all the way along. Let me just do a few more and then I'll zip it up. You can see it. Now watch this. Pull it tight and it just closes it. Beautiful. Come closer and have a look. Yeah? So that's, that is your mitered corner. So what I'm going to do now, you can go back the other way to secure it. So when I finish that, I'll fasten it. I'll fasten it at the end here. And then I can go back up to give it just a little bit at its strength. So I'm working my way back up. The cotton that I'm using as well is I've doubled the cotton just to make it strong. It fell, fell all the way down the seam of the curtain, all the way down. And what this does is when the lining is on the curtain, it keeps it nice and sharp right here and still. But here's a tip, before I do that, what you could do all the way down the curtain is snip this. What you could do as a tip is snip this edging all the way down. Do you know sometimes when your curtain shrinks and pulls? That is one of the reasons why. So we just do that all the way down. You don't have to, but you can. So what we do is we'll pick up a little bit of fabric here and we're going to run. Now this has been felled all the way down. So when you turn it over, you've got a nice sharp edge and it will remain for as long as the curtain stays up. The lining is made up in exactly the same way. So I didn't feel that I should waste time in showing you. So I'll just get on with it. So for those of us who don't want to hand hem, which is a better quality, we're going to sew the lining on. So in the end, the lining is going to end up, say, one inch all the way down the curtain there. Right? But we're going to flip it over and what we're going to do is we're going to sew it by machine. So we're going to leave one inch up the top here and we're going to... Because when you're stitching this down, if you're stitching with the lining on top, on the top, it's it's easier to sew. But if you're stitching with the the red bit on top, the main fabric on top, you find sometimes the fabric stretches. So it depends on you how you want to stitch this down. And when you do that, this becomes nice and sharp. Here we go. Can you see my edge line here? This is my edge line, but I want it to be as sharp as the other one on the other side. Now, when you buy curtains from the shop already made, the inside of this is not tacked down and it rolls. So it doesn't show that quality as we're going to get achieved today. Not forgetting to remove your pins. So, right. So we'll give this a good old iron, sharpen it up. Make sure 